Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaik from Encouragement from the Word of God. Hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. It's a beautiful Friday here in Toronto and sunny and very warm. I'm up early today because I'm off from today for a week and uh, because my friend from UK is coming over for with her family for a visit. So there's so much to do and so much to get down and with that I have a root canal happening today as well and everything is uh, planned for today and God will help us so I want to encourage you today with the Word of God and as we continue reading the devotionals the Lakeside Church Toronto 30th anniversary and today's devotional is from one of our favorite uh, persons Anthony and um, he has written this beautiful uh, devotion let's read together when tragedy strikes praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in trouble with the comfort we ourselves received from our God. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. 19 children, two teachers dead after shooting at Worldale, Texas Elementary School. Such horrific and incomprehensible headlines are becoming an art at an almost weekly occurrence in America. Christians and non-Christians alike struggle to understand what is happening in a country <clears throat> and why a loving, all-knowing God would allow such atrocities to constantly occur. How do we respond to a parent who asks us, why did God allow this to happen? Christians don't always have the answer to such hard questions, so we should never give a trite, canned responses such as, I know what you are going through. We can't possibly feel what a parent of one of those precious kids is going through, unless we ourselves have experienced such tra tragic ourselves. We must gently point that parent towards our Lord Jesus Christ. The only one who can truly understand and heal the, and the grief that a parent is experiencing. His promises peace in the midst of turmoil, hope instead of despair, confidence rather than doubt, assurance in the place of fear. We must stay active on the battlefield of prayer and not allow such constant disasters to discourage us. Fight the good fight and choose to trust in God's goodness even in the midst of tragedy. The tidal wave of evil sweeping the land will not crush our hope because we know God is still sovereign and in charge. Are there areas in your life where it's difficult to see God at work? Trust that He is with you and don't lose sight of His promises. Thank you Anthony for your devotional. Truly, um, we heard this story of 19 children and two teachers were dead after a shooting that was happening in Texas. And we know that tragedy is happening all over, not in only in America, but everywhere in the whole world. There's so much disaster, so much evil that is happening. And we might question why. Why did God allow it? But truly, we know that there is sin in the world. And because of sin, tragedy strikes tragedy happens but we know that we are covered under the blood of Jesus that we know that we can hide under him when we are in trouble we know that we can find safety in him we know that we can find comfort in him even though we might be struck by tragedy we know that we can have that comfort that God is in control no matter what no matter what we are going through that God is in control God sees the pain God understands our pain so just like Anthony says to trust in God and and in midst of struggles we cannot see the work of God but we know that God is working truly in our lives in the midst of tragedy in the midst of storm in the midst of hardships truly to lose a child it's very difficult for a parent but God still comforts them. God stays close to them and comforts them and helps them. So if you are facing tragedy today, if you are facing difficult situations today, if you're facing storms today, if you're facing fear today, if you're facing pain today, remember God is closer to you 
God is with you. The more you seek Him, the more you come close to Him, the more you surrender to Him, He will comfort you, He will guide you, He will help you. I know in my life as well, I have had many times when tragedy has tried, but God was always with me because I seeked Him. God says to seek Him first and He will give all our heart's desires. He would be found. When you find Him, when you taste Him, you know how good He is, how faithful He is, how wonderful He is. He's amazing Father. I want to encourage you today. I remember when I was small, tragedy happens when my parents separated and as a small girl as a young girl I couldn't understand why is this happening why everyone in my class the parents are together and why is my parents are not together or why would I not have my parents come over for an event or why why was uh, I uh, I not having someone to help me but remember through it all God was with me God was with me and even though there was a tragedy God comforted me God was with me it happened so that God would let me trust him more depend on him completely and can give him and surrender to him and he took the control and he led me to better ways so I want to encourage you to trust in him no matter what no matter what you're facing no matter how difficult life is life is really hard and difficult but God is with you and me today let's pray today father we come to you father we surrender our troubles tragedy sicknesses Lord everything we surrender to you God we cannot do it ourselves we need your help we need your strength we need your wisdom from above God I pray that you comfort everyone who's going through pain Comfort everyone who needs that joy. Give them that peace that passes all understanding. Fill their hearts with your joy today. Let them know that you are in control. No matter strategy is all around, that you are with them, that you will help them, you will guide them, you will lead them, that you will be glorified in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen hope this blessed you today Anthony thank you so much for your devotional Anthony is one of a uh, nice gentleman in our creative writing groups and uh, he's the one who wrote this devotion today and um, he is such an amazing person the more you get to know him the more you're amazed at him because he's so helpful he tries so many ways to help people and such a blessing to know a brother like that and he's in our creative writing group I, a part of the Lakeside Church Toronto so today I want to uh, sing this beautiful worship song called the more I seek you the more I find you The more I find you, the more I find you, the more I love you. I want to sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand, lay back against you and Feel your heart beat. This love is so deep, it's more than I can stand. I melt in your peace, it's overwhelming. Thank you. 
the more I find you, the more I find you, the more I love you. I want to sit at your feet, drink from the cup in your hand, lay back against you and breathe. Feel your heart beat. This love is so deep. It's more than I could stand. I melt in your hands. It's overwhelming. God is so faithful. The more we seek Him, the more we find Him. When you find the Lord, this is the best thing that happened. I found my Lord Jesus Christ long time ago and I am so glad that I don't have to face tragedy or any storms by myself but I have my God who's fighting for me who's leading me who's guiding me and strengthening me God is so faithful God is so good I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a good weekend we are celebrating my daughter's birthday tomorrow because uh, her birthday is on Sunday and my friends are coming over from UK and they want to go here and there in Canada in Toronto and Niagara Falls so we have to take them here and there so we are celebrating her birthday on Saturday so invited a few of uh, uh, school friends as well her friends um, to celebrate her birthday and it's going to be a wonderful day tomorrow morning and today I have lots of things to do so I want to encourage you no matter what happens in life remember God is with you in the good times and in the bad times he's with you he's all you need and the more you seek him the more you find him the more you find his favor so I bless you today I pray a blessing of favor and joy and peace in your life today God bless you bye